know, I can't believe it. What? I think I'm happy to be home. <laughs> Let's go get the hard part over. Damn you! Oh, I missed you so much. I missed you, too. Pam, welcome home. Miss Ellie. Pam. <laughs> Do I have to explain anything to you? No. Glad you're back. Thank you. Pamela. I don't know how you have the nerve to show your face around here. You are a disgrace to this family. Sue Ellen. Well, I guess you were expecting that, huh? I think someone's missing. <laughs> You'll be home. Well, let's all have a little trade and celebrate, huh? I'm going, I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Can I fix you one, Miss Ellie? Yes. Well, the family's together again. That makes me very happy. I think you can pour me a double, Daddy. All right, Bobby. Bobby, get me where I call. He want to talk to you. Well, I'll call him back. Don't bother. I told him to stop by. Oh, you did, did you? What happened to Rushford, Bobby? Well, the sheriff picked up a couple of those boys in the bar last night. Is he? Hello. And uh, Kit has a good lead on a couple of real good witnesses, so I think it's all over. Great. We'll find out as soon as he arrives. So you solved that rustling case, did you? Well, you're becoming a regular detective, Bobby. Well, J.R., that's a handy talent to have with a brother like you. <laughs> Dinner ready, Mama? Real hungry, are you? Well, it's dinner time. Well, I just hope you can maintain your appetite. Well, I don't know about him, but I'm starving. <laughs> you know, J.R., funny thing happened when Pamela and I saw that picture of her in the morning paper. It made us realize just how much we really needed one another. I'd sure like to know who to thank for that. <laughs> 